traveling to a new body of water today new baits new attitude new successes and also a lot of great news for the channel let's get it Spinnerbait. 
because he, when you send a message to Steve to place an order, he's going to ask you what colors. So if you want to have a spinner bait that's got a green pumpkin on the top of the skirt and yellow on the bottom so that you can imitate a bait fish, Steve's got you covered. You want to get skirted Ned rigs so you have a little bit more uh, a little bit more flair when you're uh, going after the smallies. Steve's got you. So uh, the way you're going to place an order with that is you're going to go to Kicker Custom Lures Facebook page and you're going to send Steve a message. Once you send him the message, um, make sure in the message that you mention, once again, just mention Crooked Hooks Fishing. And uh, just by mentioning Crooked Hooks Fishing, he's going to give you 10% off the entire order. So again, thank you to Steve for uh, hooking everybody up and, uh, um, and being able to pass uh, some extra savings along to all of you guys. So I highly suggest that you go and check out both of these uh, amazing local retailers that I am super, super happy and super proud to support uh, now and in the future. Let's go get some fish. All right, guys, we are out on the water. And we aren't... Man, we aren't 20 feet from where we launched and this place is looking juicy. Really juicy. Oh my goodness, look at this. Water's deep, weeds are up to about 12 inches from the surface. You know, I just gotta start throwing. I'm just gonna start throwing because holy moly there's some nice little I think I'm going to start with a popper to be totally honest I haven't thrown this in a while and this is the six cents uh, splashback popper yeah, she's popping away now I'm gonna get up by this dock here. And I'm on. I am on with the popper. Splashback popper. And it's a good bass. It's a really good bass. Come here, buddy. Oh my goodness. Oh. oh my goodness. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh geez, I'm all tangled up. Oh my God. What is happening right now? Oh my goodness. Guys, first fish, not five minutes into this trip. <sighs> Splashback popper. Look at the size of that fish. Oh. Oh God, I need my terminal bag. Holy frig. I am 100% blown away right now. 100% blown away right now. It 
this is a big fish. Splashback popper, baby. Gosh, that's gonna be a 16 and a half inch fish. All right. So first fish of the day, 16 and a quarter. Great fish. And there he goes. <laughs> Not here five minutes and we put a 16 and a quarter on the board. I am absolutely jacked right now. And this paddle is right in my way. Oh. We started with the popper and just got cracked oh the weeds oh my god the weeds <sighs> Jesus Christ what in the hell <sighs> oh yes and we're on the board for the tournament unbelievable there we go you know what, let's get back into this area. Oh my goodness, that was amazing. That was absolutely amazing. There's another one. There's another one. Oh, get out of the weeds. Don't you get me. Oh. There's another, there's another one on the popper, boys another one on the popper and that's another one for the board that's two for the board oh. two for the board oh He's gonna go. Yeah, he's large enough. There we go. 14 and three quarter. Not a huge guy, but definitely good. 
<laughs> Guys, that's awesome. Oh, so that's two. Oh God, could we limit out here today, boys? Because that would be amazing if we could. We got a little bit of rain coming down now. Just a wee little bit though. Oh, that was cool. This little popper, like I said, like I said in the car, just going back to basics. Just going back to basics, boys. And you can't get any more basic than your popper. And guys, this is one of the most, ex one of the most, you know, effective top water baits, especially when the water's warm. I just had a fish blow up on my line. Couldn't see the topper. Fish just came up and blasted right in front of the boat. I'm just gonna paddle over to those trees. I just wanna throw up into the tree. not into the tree but under the tree and then I'm gonna paddle up out of the channel oh there's a huge mat out there huge mat might be good for a frog yeah there's a massive mat out there Let's try the frog through here. Once again, guys, basic bait, basic situation. Heavy grass cover. Oh my God, these geese. What's the deal? Well, my battery died. I thought I was on my external battery, but I wasn't. I was on my my portable battery. So I'm now on my battery bank. So I shouldn't run out of battery anytime soon. These friggin' hooks. So sharp. Ah. So if you, when you go back in your mind, guys, and you're talking about, and people mentioned, you know, talking about going back to their roots and, you know, getting back to a type of fishing that they're very comfortable with what is it that you go to 
with me it was with my grandfather it was just dead sticking with a with a minnow out in uh, birch lake and we would crack on bass all day just line sinker hook minnow and that was it you drop it to the bottom you reel it about three inches up and you wait and my grandpa was a hammer but what's your old school way of fishing i'm curious to know spin around and throw towards shore gotta say it's a lovely paddle out here though absolutely gorgeous there we go we're on on with the frog oh he's tied up on with the frog just a little guy, but he should be big enough for the leaderboard. Oh, barely got him too. Barely got him. Are you gonna be big enough? Close your mouth. Yeah, you are. Right on, guys. That was cool. I love a frog blow up. Absolutely love a frog blow up. But who doesn't, really? Yeah, that didn't take long at all. I literally threw it threw it once into that into the longer stuff towards shore and he smacked it right away so let's see what else is out here so this is the Again, six cents Vega frog. It's a popping frog, but it's also a walking frog. <sighs> Cast a damn mile. You don't have to squeeze them out because they have a uh, plug and the hook is sealed. Now there is a dam in this area that I am going to go check out. just want to throw this frog just up here and then I'm turning around but wow right on great trip so far I'm only I'm only an hour in and I got three fish on very very pleased so far rig get my texas rig set up because we're going to be pushing up towards that dam and i'll show you the little trick that i'm doing now and it's kind of interesting i just need my my soft plastics jesus christ 
All right, there's my soft plastics. Need my T-rig rod. Now you'll notice I don't have a massive hook on here and I'm running fluorocarbon. Because we're doing a lighter presentation, I don't want the braid to be super visible. So I've got, instead gone with a really high, high density fluorocarbon. It's, I think that's 20 pound or 25 pound. It's, it's beefy, but it's invisible. So that's what I was going for. So what you're gonna need is you're gonna need your worm and for this one I think I'm gonna go with a divine shaky worm a 6.3 inch divine shaky worm I could downsize to a five five inch clout or the Green Pumpkin Limestone Lures dipstick. But I wanted something a little bit longer. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do our standard Texas rig, okay? So, you have to be careful. These things are covered in bait fuel. So they're very slippery. So we're just gonna do a standard Texas rig. Straight up over the eye of the hook. And then I'm going to transpose my hook. Okay, so we have our standard Texas rig. But then, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab me one of these. And these are a 1 16th ounce nail weight. And I'm just going to punch that into the body. Right into that gap. Between the hook point and the bend. So now... This bait has a little bit more meat and potatoes to it. When I'm throwing it out. So this will go down, but it's not going to go straight down because that weight's in the middle of the body. It's going to still flutter down on the horizontal. So it's going to go down like this as opposed to straight down on a Texas rig. So that's my, my little method that I started this season and so far it has worked rather well. All right, let's get over into this open water area because <clears throat> we're gonna go up and around the corner. We're gonna check out the dam so we can do a bit of cranking. I do have my swim jigs out. I do have a few swim jigs with me, but I want to check this area here because it's rather Jesus right there goes my paddle <laughs> well guys that's going to wrap it up for today I really hope you enjoyed the live fishing content uh we've got you know four on uh four on the board I got with well, three on the board up for the tournament and then 
I got that one miserable little pike that uh, decided he just wanted to let go at the side. But other than that, it was a great day and look forward to more of this. I'm definitely going to be coming back to this location. Um, as always, guys, if you enjoyed the content, please leave a like and a subscribe on the channel. I really do appreciate all of the support. Once again, thanks a lot to Limestone Lures and Kicker Custom Lures for uh, supporting me in this endeavor. And remember, guys, it's more about what... Um, it's more about the people than it is the fish. You know, I had the pleasure of meeting uh, a gentleman by the name of Wesley over the past uh, over the past week. We swapped some tackle, uh, swapped some rods, and uh, generally made our, our fishing arsenals uh, considerably better. But uh, the guy is super, super stand up. He's also a really talented tattoo artist. Um, so definitely go and check him out. Uh, it's Bad Habit Inc. on Instagram, and. Uh, uh, definitely go and check out uh, check out his stuff but again that's all I got for you today so as always we'll uh, see you in the next one guys and keep your heads above the water take care